you've ever been to a loud concert and left with ringing in your ears, you've probably experienced temporary tinnitus. If the ringing went away, you can consider yourself lucky. But sadly, millions of people aren't so fortunate, and the problem is growing. Stacy Gleason has this report. Okay, Maury, if you can hear me, just raise your hand. One, two, three. Imagine living with that noise in your head all the time. No, the other one was better. Yeah, this is a frequency we often match. Mari Quigley Miller does. She has tinnitus. She perceives sound when no external sound is present. I, I remember my tinnitus the first time it was in November 29th of 1995. I woke up at about 2.30 in the morning with this ringing, loud sound in my head. And I thought, well, maybe I had a ear condition, a little cold or something, and it would go away. It didn't. The ringing persisted, and she couldn't get an accurate diagnosis. That's great. I continued to go to doctors to find out what was wrong and why my ears were ringing. And in the meantime, I'm not sleeping. I'm uh, taking a few sleeping pills to help me, and they, those weren't working. Mari eventually was diagnosed with a fast-growing tumor, which impacted her hearing, balance, and facial muscles. Surgery removed the tumor, but the ringing persisted. By being proactive, Mari finally got help and then started her own support group. What I learned to do was I had to accept it first and then deal with it. Some people you know, hear tinnitus like this. Dr. Fan Gang Zhang is director of the Hearing and Speech Laboratory at UC Irvine. So, Ching, what are you working on? His team is studying sounds that may suppress tinnitus. We don't know exactly what caused tinnitus, but tinnitus is highly correlated with the hearing loss and also the amount of noise one is exposed to. So you hear that kind of chirping sound. A lot of people think this is what the, their tinnitus is. Tinnitus uh, is often think about ear disease. But the way we look at it now, it's probably not. It's a brain disorder. It may have a ear cause, but it's the brain's response to that pathology in the ear that causes tinnitus. And that makes it extremely difficult to treat. There's no cure for tinnitus, but there are options. You know, as I said, masking is one option, suppression is another. And there are, all, there are also other uh, possibilities, including pharmaceutical interventions and perhaps acupuncture. Terry Baltus of the American Tinnitus Association says too many people don't get help when they need it. We actually have people who have committed suicide that we have talked to and it just makes you feel horrible. It's, what can we do? What can we do to make a difference? This is big. This is important and people don't understand that. Some kind of exponential function. Right. There is an urgency to Dr. Zhang and other researchers work as the numbers of people suffering with tinnitus have increased dramatically. What's really scary and very unsettling is that approximately 50% of our returning soldiers coming back from the global war on terror have tinnitus or experiencing tinnitus and they wake up every morning with that and will for the rest of their lives. A little higher. For some, like Mari Quigley Miller, knowledge has become power. That's good, just not as loud, but that's the good level of my tinnitus. And the most important thing is, I've accepted it, and I'm the boss. It doesn't rule me. I rule it. She is the boss of that tinnitus. That's got to be frustrating. Yeah. Well, the American Tinnitus Association now reports that tinnitus and hearing loss topped the list of war-related health expenses, costing taxpayers nearly a billion dollars. Well, if you have the condition or know someone who does, the ATA website is ata.org. There you will find valuable resources, plus an 800 number to call for help. When you think health, think IRU.